and welcome. You're with the news today, your prime time destination. News, newsmakers, talking points. The big talking point is coming from that story. The Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh is out on bail. The big question we now ask, how is all of this going to boost or hurt ARP's poll prospects? One leader out in jail, another in jail. Also, Rahul Gandhi is, has filed his nomination from Wayanad. Where does that leave the India alliance? And will Rahul Gandhi skip Amethi? Or will he fight from both the constituencies? We'll have that too on the news today. But first, as always, it's time for the nine headlines at night. Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh walks out of Tihar jail after six months. Singh is the first AAP Neta to get bail in the Nikagate case. The AAP MP heads straight to the Delhi Chief Minister's residence to meet Arvind Kejriwal's wife. Delhi High Court reserves its judgment on Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. ED tells court that money trail has been found. Kejriwal calls his arrest a vendetta. As the war for Wayanad intensifies in Kerala, Rahul Gandhi and his left counterpart Annie Raja filed their nominations. Suspense over Rahul's Amethi fight remains. Boxer Vijinder Singh joins the BJP in a turnaround, hails Prime Minister's contribution to sport. Vijinder lost the South Delhi seat for Congress in 2019 against the BJP. As Maharashtra's alliance politics creates a seat-sharing rip, former Congress MP Sanjay Nirupam withdrawn from star campaigner list. He could resign from the party soon. Three merger woes bound for Vistara Airlines hit by massive flight cancellations and delays. Sources say Vistara management urges pilot to stop protests, resume operations. Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Maharashtra, possible choices for Tesla's $3 billion plant in India. Elon Musk to send over a team to India this month to scout locations. Surya Kumar Yadav gets an all-important clearance from the National Cricket Academy after missing the first three games of the IPL, the star India player to feature in Mumbai Indians' next game. Massive earthquake jolts Taiwan. At least nine people killed, nearly 730 injured in Taiwan's most powerful earthquake in 25 years. But the big story that's breaking at 9 p.m., the Aam Aadmi Party MP and senior leader Sanjay Singh has just been released on bail in the Delhi liquor scam case. Singh becomes the first leader of the Aam Aadmi Party to get bail in this case in which, remember, Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi chief minister, is in judicial custody. A short while ago, Sanjay Singh spoke to India today soon after his release. It was his first reaction where he said very clearly that he will continue, he says, to fight the good fight. Listen in. Sanjay Singh Ji, you have been with us. What do you want to give the first question after the jail? Look, I just want to say so much that this is not just a war, it's not a war, it's a war. The Aam Aadmi Party is one of the workers who are ready for the work of the Sanghars. The most important part of our party is in the jail of the Arvind Kejriwal. मनीष सिसोदिया सतेन जैन जेल में है और हम लड़ाई लड़ेंगे मिलकर संघर्ष करेंगे तानाशाह हुकूमत को भी हटाएंगे और मुझे पूरा विश्वास है जेल के ताले टूटेंगे और हमारे साथी छूटेंगे लोकसभा चुनाव में आपकी अहम जिम्मेदारी देखने के लिए मिलेगी अब अभी तो निकला हूँ बाकी पार्टी जो तय करेगी कार्यकर्ता हूँ और समर्पित भाव से हमेशा काम किया है पार्टी के लिए काम करेंगे ये एक बात जो आप अपने समर्थकों को कहना चाहेंगे बस संघर्ष के लिए तैयार रहे हमारी पार्टी आंदोलन के कोख से जन्मी हुई पार्टी है और इसलिए अगर किसी को गलत सहमी है इस देश की हुकूमत को या इस देश के तानाशाहों को या भारतीय जनता पार्टी को तो अपनी सारी भी सारी की सारी गलत सहमी वो दूर कर ले आम आदमी पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता इनके आगे झुकने और रुकने वाला नहीं अंतिम सवाल एक कमी जो आपको महसूस हुई जिसको आप पूरा करेंगे आप बाहर निकलकर 
निश्चित रूप से हमारे सबसे बड़े नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल जी आज जेल में है और ये पार्टी के लिए एक एक कार्यकर्ता के लिए हम सब के लिए बहुत बड़ी कमी है तो उस कमी को चार गुना ज्यादा और मेहनत करके हमारा एक एक कार्यकर्ता उनके संदेश को उनकी नीतियों को लोगों तक पहुंचाएगा और ये बताएगा कि किस तरह से जुलमी तानाशाह ने उनको जेल में रखा हुआ है और आज उस तानाशाह सरकार को हटाने का वक्त है ओके लेट्स जस्ट लिसन इन टू संजय सिंह आल्सो व्हेन ही जस्ट केम आउट ऑफ जेल अ शॉर्ट वाइल अगो Okay, other Aam Aadmi Party leaders are also celebrating the arrest, claiming that they have been vindicated. Remember, Singh is as of now only out on bail. Listen in. Supreme Court has said that he has been arrested once again. Where is money trail? Where is money trail? Where is money trail? There was no answer to the ED. And for this reason, the ED had to say that we are not opposed to bail. And after six months, after six months, संजय सिंह वापस आए हैं संजय सिंह फिर से शेर की तरह दहाड़ेंगे और भारतीय जनता पार्टी की तानाशाही को मुंह तोड़ जवाब देंगे कार्यकर्ताओं ने उनका स्वागत किया संजय सिंह जी ने कार के ऊपर चढ़ के सभी कार्यकर्ताओं को एक बात कही है ये वक्त खुशी मनाने का नहीं है ये वक्त संघर्ष करने का है अभी हमारे तीन बड़े नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल मनीष सिसोदिया और सत्येंद्र जैन जेल के अंदर है और जब तक वो नहीं छूटेंगे हम लोग खुशी नहीं बनाएंगे हम लोग संघर्ष करेंगे देल के ताले टूटेंगे अरविंद केजरीवाल छूटेंगे ओके दैट सीम्स टू बी द न्यू स्लोगन जेल के ताले टूटेंगे अरविंद केजरीवाल छूटेंगे ऑफ द आम आदमी पार्टी मुनीष पांडे उट्रैक्स द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट इज विद अस आशुतोष मिश्रा इज लाइव फ्रॉम संजय सिंह रेजिडेंस एंड अमित भारद्वाज इज लाइव फ्रॉम अरविंद केजरीवाल रेजिडेंस टू ईच ऑफ यू फर्स्ट टू आशुतोष you are hearing those uh, sounds from the aam aadmi party leaders saying they are now going to fight it out and take on the bjp what are you making out of it what is going to be aam aadmi party strategy is sanjay singh now going to be someone who is going to direct them at least in this election campaign given the fact that arvind kejriwal has used him in the part in the past for election strategy will he be the face in a way at least for election in the next 6 to 8 weeks undoubtedly undoubtedly rajdeep in fact uh, this entire uh, line and length and pace of uh, of the aam aadmi party which was literally missing and there was question on the future and the pan india expansion of the aam aadmi party which was literally jeopardized after arrest of arvind kejriwal but this uh, you know this is uh, like literally historic situation for the aam aadmi party getting bail in the money laundering case for sanjay singh so he will be the first line of leader who will be out on bail and not just campaigning there are lot of things which is on stake for the aam aadmi party first in the uh, by this month and you have uh, the mayoral election pending in in the national capital subsequently the aam aadmi party which is contesting on 22 uh, parliamentary seats across the country in certain states sanjay singh will be solely responsible to campaign and become a face along with bhagwant man more importantly alliance uh, with the india block uh, the meetings and then several strategies that will be a key factor for the aam aadmi party to take certain decisions where exactly sanjay singh play a key role tomorrow what we are hearing there will be rounds of meeting within the party leadership in fact as we speak maybe in few minutes from now he'll be reaching at cm residence and then around 10 or 10 15 he'll be addressing the party cadre at the aam aadmi party headquarter so clearly what was missing this is giving no less than respite and breather for the aam aadmi right. party after arrest of arvind kejriwal and this jail se taale tooting at the first this slogan was actually used for sanjay singh after the arrest and now since he is out the era slogan they are making the taale toot gaye sanjay singh chhoot gaye and now this is going to be used for the for arvind kejriwal okay let's go straight also to munish pande munish pande while the aam aadmi party celebrates how is the ed looking at all of this today 
Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers argued, claiming his arrest was illegal in the High Court. The High Court has reserved that judgment. How is the ED seeing it? Is the ED still very confident of their case? And is Arvind Kejriwal therefore likely, according to the ED sources you're speaking to, to spend a long time in jail? Well, Razi, first of all, for any prosecuting agency, if the accused get bail, then it is embarrassing for that agency, be it the state police or, in this case, uh, the enforcement directorate. But, uh, you know, the court order is very specific in case of uh, Sanjay Singh. The Supreme Court has said that this bail to Sanjay Singh will not have any impact on other cases. And that is why we saw that when a counter affidavit to uh, Arvind Kejriwal's application was filed before the High Court by the Enforcement Directorate, it is of 260 pages. And while the argument was going on today, before the court, there were certain arguments uh, in which, first of all, about the money trail, the Enforcement Directorate said that we have the money trail. Uh, we are not able to find out where the money has been spent. But this we are sure that 45 crore rupees was sent to um, um, sent uh, to uh, for uh, Goa elections uh, by the Ahmadmi Party. About Arvind Kejriwal's role, they have again said that he was the kingpin. He was aware of uh, the entire scam and he played a major mm -hmm. role in the scam. Apart from that, they have also said that in future they might attach properties of uh, Ahmadmi Party. Certainly on the lines that in future the enforcement directorate is planning to make Ahmadmi Party accused in the case. And if it happens, then first of all it will be a story because uh, uh, this will be for the first time that. Uh, National Party will be make, made accused in a corruption case. And second, if that happens, then it is going to impact Aam Aadmi Party because their fundings, right. their bank accounts will be frozen. Okay, let me go also to Amit Bhardwaj, who's joining me live from Arvind Kejriwal's residence, where Sanjay Singh will be meeting the wife of Arvind Kejriwal, Sunita Kejriwal. Uh, Amit, what are you picking up from your sources? Uh, uh, we've seen... Uh, Sunita Kejriwal playing a very important role ever since Arvind Kejriwal has been jailed. Many see her also as a face of the future. Uh, Sanjay Singh expected to meet her. Is there a sense within the Aam Aadmi Party that Sanjay Singh will lead their fight now in the Lok Sabha elections? Uh, Razdeep, I'm standing right outside six Flagstaff Mark uh, residence of the Chief Minister and the action has actually shifted here. I'll request uh, Anil Jaiswal to show you the visuals. The cars have started to move in at uh, this uh, particular residence. Uh, Delhi Minister Saurabh Bhardwaj is here a couple of minutes back and we did ask him this question, you know, what is going to be Sanjay Singh's role in this particular scenario, especially when Arvind Kejriwal is behind the bars and he said that like senior leader of the party, uh, uh, Sanjay Singh will be taking charge of uh, the party affairs, not that he was uh, taken away with the responsibilities that he had. And, uh, you know, he's expected to come here any moment from now. The Har jail is nearly 45 minutes away, which means that he should be here uh, any time after 9 uh, uh, 15 uh, but uh, you know if, if we speak of as to what is going to be the major change in role of the leaders who have been uh, taking care of the responsibilities of Aam Aadmi Party affairs ever since arrest of Arvind Kejriwal Sunita Kejriwal will continue to work as a sympathy card emotional card for Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal uh, 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 Saurabh Bhardwaj Atishi Jasmine Shah will take care of the communication Saurabh and Atishi will take care of uh, the government but you know, it's Sandeep Pathak's role which is uh, uh, set to see a change because Sandeep Pathak, somebody who likes numbers, strategies, you know, and uh, believes to stay behind the curtains. Uh, he wants to operate from behind the curtains like ba backdoor boys. Uh, because of these, uh, you know, uh, uh, extraordinary circumstances, he was forced to come out, speak to the councillors, leaders, MPs across the uh, states to ensure, along with dealing with the India Alliance, to ensure that uh, everything moves smoothly and there's a momentum in terms of the protest as well as the campaign of Aam Aadmi Party. Now you have Sanjay Singh chipping in from this particular moment. The moment he steps inside the Sikh flag staff mark, uh, it will send across a message to the cadre of the Aam Aadmi Party, the leaders of the Aam Aadmi Party, that Sanjay right. Singh is back. He is somebody who has control over the party's leadership in Delhi, Punjab, has public appeal as well as connection in the India bloc parties. Razdeep. Okay. Amit Bhardwaj, Ashutosh Mishra and uh, Munish Pandey for joining me. Thank you very much. There's of course the fear of co that the Aam Army Party has that could this be a prelude at some stage to the Aam Army Party being poached upon? Could there be an Operation Lotus in the offing? All of this of 
comes on the back of Arvind Kejriwal still being in jail. The Delhi chief minister had moved the high court today against his arrest, calling it illegal and political vendetta and an aim to prevent the Ahmadmi party from contesting the 2024 elections. The ED, though, is sticking to its point, terming Kejriwal the liquor gate kingpin. Take a look. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is behind the bars. But his legal battle continues. Kejriwal moved Delhi High Court against his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate, calling it illegal. Delhi Chief Minister called his arrest nothing but a political vendetta, terming it a bid to defame his party just before crucial 2024 Lok Sabha polls. He also questioned as to how can one be arrested without having any proof against the person. The probe agency called Kejriwal's arrest legal. ED once again termed Kejriwal a kingpin of Delhi liquor scam, alleging that he demanded kickbacks from Boo's parents. Calling up as a major beneficiary of the scam, the probe agency stated that it had ample evidence of Kejriwal's guilt. During the hearing on Wednesday, additional Solicitor General S.B. Raju, appearing for ED, asked if an arm army has to go behind bars for a crime, why should not a Chief Minister be arrested? The ASG, giving an example, said a terrorist who is also a politician can't seek protection from arrest citing election after blowing up an army vehicle. Abhishek Singhvi, who represented Kejriwal, strongly objected to the analogy and said terror is a heinous crime. The High Court has reserved its verdict on Kejriwal's petition to quash his arrest. Tihar jail officials and AAP locked horns over Kejriwal's health. Tihar jail, in an official release, rubbished AAP claims that Kejriwal has drastically lost weight in custody. Tihar jail said Kejriwal's blood pressure, sugar level and vital parameters are all normal. Tihar also pointed to home-cooked food being supplied to Kejriwal. जब वो ईडी की कस्टडी में थे, तो तीन बार उनका शुगर लेवल गिरा, एक बार उनका शुगर लेवल 46 तक पहुंच गया, जो किसी भी व्यक्ति के लिए जान लेवा साबित हो सकता है, चाहे जो शुगर लेवल में फ्लक्चुएशन हुआ है, चाहे साढ़े चार किलो वजन का घटना हो मात्र बारह दिन में ये एक बहुत गंभीर बात है, ये एक बहुत सीरियस बात है। किसी इंसान का साढ़े चार किलो वेट कम हो जाए और वो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दो दिन पहले हमने कोर्ट में देखे थे आए हुए थे, दो ही तो दिन हुए उनको जेल गए हुए। अब दो दिन पहले जब उनसे पूछा जाता था कहते मैं ठीक हूँ, तंदरुस्त भी हूँ और मेरे को बड़े अच्छी तरह से ट्रीट कर रहे हैं अब दो दिन में जब आपके घर का खाना जा रहा है तो मैं तो ये कहूंगा सुनीता भाभी जी को ध्यान देना चाहिए कि घर के खाने में ऐसी कौन सी चीज जा रही है जिसके कारण उनका वेट कम हो रहा है विल लिकर गेट डिटर्मिन आउटकम ऑफ सेवन डेली लोकसभा सीट विद कानू शारदा राम किंकर एंड अमित भारद्वाज इन डेली ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे Will a jailed Arvind Kejriwal boost or hurt Aam Aadmi Party's prospects? Will the AAP benefit from the sympathy factor? How do voters view Kejriwal's arrest? These are some of the questions I'm going to raise. The sympathy factor when a leader is jailed. Does it really work in politics anymore or not? We're asking this question at a time when uh, Sanjay Singh reports just coming out say he's at the residence of Arvind Kejriwal meeting Sunita Kejriwal, the wife of Arvind Kejriwal. You can see those pictures playing out there. Uh, joining me at this moment on our talking point, Rahul Verma, fellow at the Center for Policy Research. Abhinandita Abhi Mathur is Amadmi Party's spokesperson. And Sanju Verma is the BJP's national spokesperson. Before I come to you all, I'm going to play what I believe are uh, this graphic that tells you how have leaders done after arrest. When they get arrested, what happens to their political careers? George Fernandez was arrested famously ahead of the emergency in the Baroda Dynamite case. His image of him in chains became, made him the face of anti-emergency movement. So he became actually his fame increased once he went to jail. Indira Gandhi arrested in 1977 under a Janta government for political corruption. 
She returned to power just three years later, used her arrest very artfully to create sympathy for her, emerged as a martyr of sorts. J. Jailalitha was jailed in 1996 in a corruption case by the DMK government, but returned with an even bigger majority in the subsequent elections. Convicted in a corruption case uh, and then was, as I said, became Chief Minister. M. Karnanidhi, arrested in 2001 in a flyover case by the AIDMK government, but returned to power five years later. So these are all leaders who made comebacks. What happened on the other side? Lalu Prasad, former Bihar Chief Minister, quit as the Bihar Chief Minister in 1997 after being named in the fodder scam, made his wife the Chief Minister, and his career never quite remained the same, although he's still very much in politics. Sukram, former Union Minister in the Narsimha Rao government, was convicted of corruption in 2011, sent to a five-year jail term, did not really realize then his ambition of becoming a Himachal Pradesh chief minister. Shibu Soren, former Jharkhand chief minister, was sentenced to life term in a murder case in 2006, quit as minister, was acquitted by the Delhi High Court, but never again really became the Shibu Soren of old. Om Prakash Chautala, former Haryana chief minister, was sentenced to 10 years jail in a teacher recruitment scam that virtually spelled the end of his career. So as you can see, there are various uh, factors that play out, whether you can make a comeback or your career is over. Rahul Varma, let me put you on the line. What happens to Arvind Kejriwal? Does Arvind Kejriwal survive to win another day or is his political career as a result of this on the back foot? Uh, short answer depends. Uh, and it largely depends on what Arvind Kejriwal will choose to do uh, once he comes out uh, of the jail. Uh, hopefully, given the uh, sort of like interim uh, bail order that has been uh, delivered in the case of Mr. Sanjay Singh, our Madhuri party leadership is going to think that same principles are going to be applied to uh, both Manish Sisodia and uh, Arvind Kejriwal, and both of them will be out soon. Unless they are out of the jail and they can mobilize Kader, mobilize other opposition party leaders, uh, you know, sympathy has to be constructed and created. Nothing in politics exists uh, 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 without being constructed. Uh, so if Aam Aadmi Party uh, uh, and opposition voters think that they can make issue of vindictive politics by the ruling regime BJP and uh, uh, they should be punished uh, by voters for it. They have to create that politics. And just to add, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, India Today and C Voter had done a snap poll on this issue and it seems the opinion seemed to be divided. Yes, there is a large number of people, close to 50%, who think uh, that uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal's arrest is a sign of vindictive politics. But what is not clear that among this 50%, how many are going to stand with uh, the opposition party and Arvind K. Jival, uh, in a couple of weeks from now, vote for them, and then rally behind them on uh, the streets. Right. Unless that happens, uh, the chances of this like slow sort of like drizzle uh, is going to affect both Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind K. Jival's politics. I, I'm going to play some of those numbers, uh, Sanju Verma, to you. Uh, we did a survey, a quick survey from uh, the uh, a C voter, and that seemed to suggest that there was sympathy for Arvind Kejriwal. Not overwhelming, but there was substantial sympathy also there. Would you concede, therefore, that you run a risk if Arvind Kejriwal does get early bail? Sanjay Singh get, has got bail after six months. Should Arvind Kejriwal get bail, let's say, just ahead of the Lok Sabha elections in Delhi, which are in the third week of May, is there a fear that he could get sympathy? Is that something that should worry the BJP? Okay. Uh, Rajdi, uh, you know, uh, I'll answer your question, but uh, please bear with me for uh, just about 10 seconds. These are famous lines from one of my famous, uh, one of my favorites, uh, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, where he says, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. And it was the winter of despair. 2024 will go down in India's electoral and political history as being one of the most bitterly contested elections because 
why for some like me in the bjp you know it is the spring of hope which i'm looking forward to for the likes of kejriwal for the likes of rahul gandhi it is the winter of despair that they need to look forward to for somebody like me and for anybody who believes that india's democracy is a level playing field for anyone who believes that under narendra modi we have a vibrant and fully functional democracy it is the age of wisdom and for those who believe ki loktantra khatre mein hai ganatantra khatre mein hai samvidhan khatre mein hai it is the age of foolishness having said all this i will just make one very important point and i've learned this from you i've heard this in many of your uh, electoral analysis i think there are three things which are very important when you uh, you know look at a neta it could be kejriwal it could be narendra modi rahul gandhi lalu prasad yadav what have you a track record b grand vision c the ability to be able to translate vision into reality but most importantly i think what is very important for a neta in today's times especially when there will be so many first time voters in 2024 i think it is the three c's chemistry charisma and connect because i have heard rajdeep sardes sai say so many times politics is not about arithmetic alone you can have you know the numbers on your side but if you lack charisma chemistry and connect you are not going to be making a good politician much less a great neta so tell me rajdeep even if i assume that you know all goes well and arvin kejriwal uh, you know uh, gets bail sooner than later do i am not entitled to crystal ball gaze and say what the future beholds for him 30 seconds more my simple my simple logic is this look at the audacity of an entire cabal look at the audacity, audacity of an entire cottage industry of youtubers and open writers rather than questioning chor se sawal nahi kiya ja raha thanedar se sawal kiya ja raha hai qatil karne wale se sawal nahi kiya ja raha qatl karne wale se but but madam your time is up i heard you very patiently i gave you complete uninterrupted time in fact you are saying that questions are being raised against the government and not against those who are in jail but the sympathy many believe is flowing from what the indian express has also said today and this was first put out on india today the washing machine the number of leaders who post 2019 have joined the bjp cases against them have gone while the opposition leaders go to jail now could that result in sympathy uh, abhi nandita mathur is the aam aadmi party clutching at that hope that somewhere there will be sympathy because arvind kejriwal is claiming to be victimized he said that in court today also that i am a victim but the at the end of the day he has to get not just bail he has to be acquitted if he is acquitted then you could call for sympathy otherwise he will still have the shadow of the delhi liquor scam hanging over him rajdeep the bjp has made our job very easy you know especially in the last one week with arvind kejriwal ji's arrest and this sort of toxic narrative and victimizing themselves i was you know amused when i heard uh, sanju varma speak and she was saying um almost like bjp khatre mein hai you know you have the you have the power in the center you have all the money you have all the might aap khatre mein nahi hai in fact wo ccc aap bol rahe the i was thinking you know bjp or narendra modi is actually about having the money the media and the mafia the people who give you uh you know electoral bonds ka chanda the you know huge uh, tragedy liquor trade mafia that you are giving tickets to media of course everybody knows and which is why poor youtubers have to make programs to enlighten each other and money again everybody knows and how you vasulo it also we know uh from your surveys yesterday rajdeep which were uh, which were actually very positive for us and the big takeaway for us was that one people of delhi and people in india like and respect and have faith in arvind kejriwal two bjp lies utterly exposed you know their vindictive politics their love for corrupt politicians their uh, uh exploitation of misuse of the agencies everything that they touch you know literally turns into rubbish at the moment we are at a very critical time and bjp stands exposed ye 56 inch to corruption nahi karne dunga wagaira sara corrupt ko apne party mein le aaye hain it is just not working and the third takeaway for us is that 
the waters do change their behavior and they do change their minds mm-hmm. and if it was not true then all this char so par ke baad they were not they would not be so nervous the bjp would not be so nervous why i say this is look at delhi delhi gave aam aadmi party a chance they gave aam aadmi party another chance they were still voting for bjp in the mcd and they switched because they had seen what the bjp can deliver they also saw what arvind kejriwal ji's government was delivering and there was a shift and there will be shifts like this because like i said the more the bjp speaks the more you know intoxicated they are uh, with their in their power uh, people are able to see there are people okay. from the bjp there are supporters Rajiv. hardcore supporters you know from the bjp who call us and say ye ati ho gayi hai ye bahut zyada ho gaya you know let, let me take Arvind that Ketriwal let ma'am ma'am just stop a minute said it jokingly ma'am i have given you equal Rajiv. time ma'am your time. you know sanju verma uh, there is a वर्ड इन मराठी सिंस यू आर ऑल्सो फ्रॉम मुंबई अति आणि हसू आल इट लिटरली मीन्स दैट वेन यू क्रॉस अ सर्टन लिमिट पीपल स्टार्ट लाफिंग अबाउट इट नाउ आई कैन टेल यू वॉट हैपन इन माई पार्क माई पार्क हैज अ लॉट ऑफ बीजेपी सपोर्टर्स एंड दे स्टील विल वोट फॉर नरेंद्र मोदी दे से बट दे से वॉट द बीजेपी इज डूइंग टू इट्स अपोनेंट बाय जेलिंग दैम इन द मैनर दैट इज वाइल बीजेपी इज एक्सेप्टिंग द लाइक्स ऑफ जनार्दन रेड्डी and many others who have had corruption cases against them is not the way the bjp should be does all of this worry you at all that there could come a time if the prime minister now said na khaunga na khane dunga someone will put up janardan reddy's picture are usko to usko to khane de rahe hain are you worried about it or not ranjit uh, i don't know if my voice is audible because i can hear a lot of background static noise then no, no, it's always audible please go ahead okay you know when i hear the aam aadmi party spokespersons earlier i used to get agitated you know now i find their form no, answer my question please i am answering rajdeep do not get uh, so irritated please mm. you know you are back okay. to your nice for the first 5 minutes and then you start showing your true colors okay. thank you yeah so uh, you know i find it uh, funny i find it hilarious and tragically so when aam aadmi party spokespersons inka astitva khatam ho chuka hai there one lok sabha member in sushil rinku from jalandhar he won uh, in a by election and even he abandoned the aam aadmi party and joined the bjp you sit here and you curse narendra modi amit shah jp nadda all that is fine the fact is you are unable to keep your flock together you know aapne marathi mein kuch kaha can the prime minister ma'am just a minute i uh, you didn't answer my question can the prime minister today really say na khaunga na khane dunga when janardan reddy is taken into your party when those who been accused in the colgate scam are taken into your party when those who are accused of irrigation scam are taken into your party when those who been accused of real estate scams are taken into your party i just ask you a straight question i want a straight answer na idhar ki baat karta udhar ki answer my question rajdeep you know you had a lengthy monologue under the gap of asking the question oh, i don't want to be heckled jawab sunne ki himmat rakhiye jab aapne sawal pucha hai to to bhi heckle mat kariye because you know before you start saying you have 35 years of journalism half jod kar badi vinamrata se listen to my question i am answering don't get you know don't get so apati rajdeep with me thank you i am answering your question rajdeep sarde sai we lost sanju verma and this is my response to you like it or take it or leave it Rajdeep Sarde Sai will ask Sanju Verma about Ajit Pawar. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will ask Sanju Verma about Narayan Rane. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will ask Sanju Verma about Janardan Reddy. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will ask Sanju Verma about Subendu Adhikari. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will ask Sanju Verma about perhaps in the next debate Vijender Singh. The same Rajdeep Sarde Sai he will not ask about Manish Sisodia. Then he will ask. About the bona fides of ED, Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question Arvind Kejriwal. Then Rajdeep Sarde Sai will raise questions about the bona fides of the ED. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question Satyendra Jain. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question Shah Jahan Sheikh. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question Partha Chatterjee. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question Anuradha Mandal. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question Premodet Thakka. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question. Uh, you know, so not Bharti. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question K. Ponmuri. Rajdeep Sarde Sai will not question Udayini Di Stalin. That would be Rajdeep Sarde Sai. This is not a boundary. We will question the BJP. No, no. no. You no, claim no, to be a party no, with a no, difference. No, 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 no. No, no. You claim to be. No, no. One minute, ma'am. You, ma'am, ma'am. Now, now, you made your point. It's a very strong point, which I think Anna, uh, uh, Anna Nandita needs to answer. You see, Anna Nandita, while you can go on saying washing machine, washing machine. 
the fact is that if people are, I made this point earlier to you, until they are acquitted, they will daag to lagega na. Daag aap par to lag gaya hai. You all claim to be an anti-corruption party and all your leaders, several of them are in jail. So it's somewhere you are, you want sympathy, but will you get sympathy only when you come into the debate with clean hands? You will have to get acquitted. If Kejriwal is acquitted, he will get the benefit. Otherwise, he may not. <laughs> Rajdeep, first, you know, I have to quickly respond to Sanjuji's uh, performance. Uh, I was very amused. She said, you know, Sanju Verma se aap ye pooch rahe, Sanju Verma se ye pooch rahe. Aray, to Sanju Verma should answer. He, a journalist is doing his job. He's asking the same tough questions to us. And you are not answering them. Instead, you are doing this funny performance on primetime news. We are supposed to have no, ma ma logical debates question. so that no, this country is benefiting. Yes, I will my, answer. Let her speak. Chupi I will deal with her. Uh, please answer my Haan, question. I, I'm answering. I'm answering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, to answer your question, of course, we will be acquitted. There is no doubt about it. And as far as sympathy is concerned, you know, there are two, three things that are working very well for us. One is that the people of Delhi have not only seen Arvind Kejriwal and his clean governance, if it was not for his honest governance, then the people of Delhi would have not got the benefits that they have got. Then people of Gujarat would have also got them. Then people of uh, you know Maharashtra today would have also got them, but they're not getting them. The reason why we are able to improve public health, public education, public transport, give free transport to women, give free electricity, give free water, make like landmark sort of Ma'am, you're not answering in, uh, my question. Uh, governance where the world is Ma'am, you're not answering model, my question. Your party that, came yes, to no, power no, on anti-corruption. You know, you all that? said, sub neta chore, you came to power on anti-corruption, you still have several of your netas in jail. Until that changes, do you agree, it's going to be tough for you to get back public sympathy, that's all. What I'm saying is, I agree. I'm saying that our, there is no problem with our sympathy. In fact, thanks to the BJP, <laughs> the people are feeling that injustice. You yourself said that in the park. You know, uh, the experience you had in the park, I'm telling you that there are a lot of BJP supporters, regardless of whether they will call us, uh, whether they will vote for us or, or not. I'm telling you today that most of them feel what is happening is not all right and what the Prime Minister is doing to the country is not all right. Okay. No, and I that is what is important. It does not matter. We know that the BJP will Rajin, love to be in power. You know, they will, they will I need to respond. Down, down to the level of Chakri and Mayor okay. Elizabeth did that they will do whatever. I am sorry, Sanjay Barma, the Emperor has no clothes and your party and your party. Okay, voice down. Voice down. You see, I Sanju Barma... The fact is, I have another discussion to do today. And therefore, those guests are waiting. Please appreciate that. And I will give Rahul Verma, who's been very patient the last 30 seconds. Today, let Rahul Verma get... Okay, I'll give you 20. Because otherwise, you'll go and complain to me uh, uh, later. What is, your, what is your final point? What, what is making Sanju Verma yes. angry today? <laughs> what is making? Sanju Verma angry. Oh my God, I'm not angry, Rajdeep. Come on. I'm just showing you the mirror and I'm showing the audience, uh, you know, the bare truth. I will just say this much. When all of the party sits here and says, oh, Kejri Varaka, ye model hai, BJP dar gai. So, yes, you know, BJP in Lok Sabha 2019 had a 57% vote share from Delhi. We had a 100% strike rate. We won all the seven seats. And what about Aam Aadmi Party? Despite Kejriwal's bravado, you got zero seats. You had a 0% strike rate. Despite a 18% so vote not, share. So you're not... You don't fear from Kejriwal. There is no Bilkul question nahi. of being fear, fearful of Kejriwal. Rahul Verma, should the BJP be worried about Kejriwal? A Kejriwal who's a... Leader who known to use every occasion to somehow or the other take the halo of victimhood. Can he do it again very quickly? Rahul? Okay, Rahul seems to have been completely intimidated by the two strong women voices on the show. Perhaps not getting my voice as a result. No, Don't leave it. I, I didn't hear. Like, okay, no, I, I, very quickly, do you think Kejriwal can get, take political advantage or not, given his past? Very quickly in 30 seconds. He can turn it into. BJP took a calculated risk uh, in basically getting Kejriwal in sight, uh, arresting him just before. Does the, the BJP fear Kejriwal? 
So it's a calculated risk. And the risk is basically a sympathy date in favor of AAP. Okay, okay. I, 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 I need to leave it plan. there. I need to leave it there because we have another pair of guests who are about to join us. I appreciate you all joining us on that sympathy factor. As I said, we'll wait and see how this plays out. History is uh, rather... Uh, gives us mixed signals about when leaders go to jail, how do they benefit or not. Now, let's turn to some another of our contenders in this Lok Sabha season, Rahul Gandhi of the Congress, who today filed his nomination from Wayanad in Kerala with a massive show of strength in a roadshow. Not only Rahul Gandhi, the CPI's Annie Raja also filed a nomination. The question is still this, will Rahul Gandhi fight Amethi also, only contest from Wayanad? Take a look. Accompanied by a sea of supporters and party workers, Rahul Gandhi entered the electoral fray from the picturesque constituency of Vayanad in Kerala. Throughout the roadshow and later, while filing nominations, Rahul's sister Priyanka Gandhi Vadra was with him. Rahul, who won from Vayanad in 2019, made an emotional pitch to the voters, calling them his family. I was really embraced by the people of Vaina, regardless of which party they came from, regardless of which community they came from, regardless of how old they were, every single person in Vaina gave me love, affection, respect and treated me as one of their own. Campaigning has reached fever pitch in Vayanad. Rahul is up against CPI's Annie Raja and BJP state unit chief K. Surendra. The left front is upset with Rahul's candidature in Vayanad. The Congress's allies at the national level are questioning why Rahul is not fighting from the Hindi heartland where the fight is with the principal rivals, BJP. In a democracy, anyone can contest from anywhere. But in today's... Uh, political scenario as left has as left has announced its candidates much in advance they could have avoided the political sensitivity should have been prevailed congress and cpi have been fighting against each other in Wayanad over the years just like in any other seat in kerala but this time it's a different story the left right from the beginning have been opposing rahul gandhi's to contest from Wayanad one more time saying that the main face of the opposition front is sending a wrong message by contesting against its own ally, CPI, and not against the BJP in the Hindi heartland. Suspense remains over Amethi, the seat in UP that Rahul lost in 2019. Current Amethi MP and Union Minister Smriti Rani has dared Rahul to contest against her. Well, my challenge to Mr. Gandhi was very simple, that if he considers himself the tallest leader of the Congress party, he should fight only the seat of Amethi. But I have heard that he will fight two seats from two seats. As he will announce that he is fighting from two seats, he means that he is fighting from the announcement that he is fighting from Amethi. The person who is totally convinced that he is fighting from the other seat, he does not run away. The UP Congress is eager to see the Gandhi siblings contest from Amethi and Rai Bareli, which are considered Gandhi family seats. The state leadership believes that the candidature of Rahul and Priyanka can motivate the party cadres in UP. With Mosmi Singh and Shivi Mole, Bureau Report, India Today. Let's raise some more big questions. Why is the left upset with Rahul Gandhi's Why Not bid? Has Rahul in Vainats ended up splitting the India block with the left taking on Rahul Gandhi there? Should Rahul Gandhi really be focusing on Hindi heartland, which is the Congress's big fight and challenge? Joining me now are, are Fuad Halim, leader of the CPIM, Shama Mohammed, Congress spokesperson. Appreciate both of you joining us. We are, have limited time, so I'll ask you to keep your interjections short. Shama Mohammed, you first. Rahul Gandhi has chosen the safe constituency, as it's called, of Wayanad in Kerala, taking on the left, which is your India Alliance ally. Wouldn't he be better off focusing in some other state where he was taking on the BJP and in particular on North India, where you really need to do well to win this election or have any chance to win 2024? Rajseep, uh, 
what I want to know from the left is who is the sitting MP of Wynad? That is Rahul Gandhi. It is not Ani Raja. We requested them not to put a candidate up against Rahul Gandhi. They could have just been good enough and not put Ani Raja. I can understand if Ani Raja was the candidate there and then Rahul Gandhi is going there. I agree with it. It is Rahul Gandhi. He has a relationship with the people of Wynad and he wants to continue to be their member of parliament. There's nothing wrong. Number two, Wynad has never been a CPIM bastion. It has always been a Congress uh, and the League bastion. You know, mm -hmm. the League is also in good in number. And Wynad has a population of around 20% Christians. It has around 30% Muslims and the highest 42%. This is for Narendra Modi to know is Hindus. It's not a minority uh, is the majority there, according to what Mr. Modi said last time. And also it has a lot of Adivasis, the tribal people, which Rahul Gandhi feels a lot about. So he has a relationship with them. And we, uh, in fact, told the left, please do not put anybody there. Be large hearted. You know, Rahul Gandhi does not want to move from there. You know, he he is has a bonding with the. the no, he the has a bond. I, you make a good point about the bonding, which I will take just now to Fuad Halim. Mr. Halim, Shama Mohammed says it's the left that could have gracefully withdrawn. Why was why was the onus on Rahul Gandhi to go and uh, uh, withdraw from Wayanad when, as she says, he's the sitting MP? Could the left not have said we will not fight our India bloc allied leader? Well, one has to keep the larger perspective in mind. If you look uh, at the differences and the way the political, what you call, uh, uh, what you call, uh, milieu mm -hmm. changes across India, one has to keep in mind that in Kerala, the Bharatiya Janata Party is a very, very marginalized force. If the left and the Congress ally, then the natural space of the opposition is given to the Bharatiya Janata Party in Kerala. Now, it's very simple what you call understanding. That is essential that the left and the Congress fight it out in Kerala. That's absolutely essential. Otherwise, you know, we, we, we will be creating the environment for the Bharati Janata Party to grow in Kerala where they have no existence at all. No, but it's they, your own, they, they, it's they your own chief minister, Mr. Call, Hali. Uh, even, uh, no, but, but Mr. Hali, the votes in Bainyard. sir, but with Let, due regard, it's your own chief minister, Pindray Vijayan, who has Let objected. He has objected back. to Rahul Gandhi contesting from Bainyard, saying, why are you coming here? You can go yes, anywhere else in the country. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. The, con the con Congress with all their candidates in, in Kerala will fight the left and they have to, uh, they, will, they will face a very, very strong fight from the left in Kerala. There is no bones about it. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that's the way we will go ahead in Kerala because we are very clear that the fight in Kerala should leave no space whatsoever to the Bharati Janata Party. And it is very essential that even though we will be fighting with the Congress in Kerala, we have a clear understanding that this fight is the essential fight in Kerala. This is the fight between the secular forces to create a better environment for, for, for secularism. So you're India. saying you're fighting, you, uh, you're you saying you're fighting, your, your point is taken again. Your point, you're saying you're fighting each other so that there is no space left in a way for the BJP to emerge as the principal opposition, which it wants to one day in Kerala. But Shama Mohammed, the other big question. For Rahul Gandhi and the Congress, 2024, the road to Delhi surely must lead to, through states like Uttar Pradesh and the Hindi heartland. Is he abandoning that and going all the way to Wayanad? I repeat, Wayanad is seen as a safe seat. You are going to a safe yeah. seat rather than taking up the challenge of North India. Nobody said he's not going to take up. We haven't finished uh, what is happening right now. The seat selections are going on still. So nobody has said anything. I mean, why are you getting to conclusions? He's already the sitting MP. He does not want to desert the people of... I admire him for that. He does not want to desert the people of Vaina just because every Tom, Dick and Harry says what they want. Rahul Gandhi has a mind of his own. And he believes in certain principles and he will stick to those principles. No, so are you and telling nobody, me that he will fight from Uttar Pradesh? Are you telling me not, from what I you say that it any, is still not... Are you hinting that he will fight from Uttar Pradesh? I am not saying anything whether he will fight or he will not fight, but decision has not been taken. And when decision has been taken, we'll definitely let you know. It is continuing the process. You, as you know, Amethi and Rai Bareli are still open. We have not uh, put a candidate up there and there are reasons for that. But what I would like to tell uh, the uh, CPM person out there is that they are the one who are not going in, in, in a cohesive manner in Kerala. They are fighting against us at every point trying to bring what when they know the 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 enemy right now is the fascist forces and we need to get rid of them 
and we need to speak in one voice. They have to understand that. They could have easily, gracefully, like you said, not put up a candidate. We know what is happening in the rest of Kerala day by day. Uh, the attack is on us and not on the Bhatia Janta Party in Kerala by the okay. uh, CPIM and the LDF. Can I get a final word, therefore, for, for you, Mr. Harim? Do you believe that the left and, CP, uh, and the, CP, uh, the CPM and the Congress fighting each other in Kerala, does it send the wrong signals to the rest of the country? This is not a Kerala fight. This is a general election. That's the difference, Mr. Harim. This is an election where you should have found ways, if you really want to take on the BJP, of working together. Well, you have to be very clear that the signal that is coming out from Kerala has not affected my party in West Bengal where we have tied up with the Congress to have a joint fight here in West Bengal. And one has to keep in mind that the fight between the left and the Congress that is taking place in Kerala has not affected the Congress here in West Bengal also. One has to understand the real politics of the ground reality. And the real politics of the ground reality is obvious oh, that there are many ways, there are myriad of ways in which you can actually suffocate the BJP. And one of the ways of that is playing itself out in Kerala. Unfortunately, Rahul Gandhi is the candidate and we will fight him over there and we will fight him tooth and, tooth and nail. From Pinat, it's either the left that's going to win or the Congress is going to win. Uh, and both why, for the secular forces at this point there? of time and in India is, is a win-win situation. Okay. I, I don't have any understanding what the uh, Congress spokesperson says, but I'll tell you uh, very assured, assuredly that the, the people here in West Bengal and other parts of India who have an understanding and who are married to the ground at this point of time don't want to see the Bharatiya Janata Party increase their vote percentage by even a single point. And that's going to happen and only happen if the left and the Congress fight with each other convincingly. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you, Shama Mohammed and Fuad Halim uh, for joining me. It's an interesting uh, way to look at Indian politics. Two allies will fight each other in Kerala to squeeze out the space for the BJP, they say. Rahul Gandhi seems to have, as of now, decided that Wayanad is his new karma bhumi. Uh, we'll have more on that. Why Wayanad, the politics of Wayanad at 10.30 p.m. tonight. You can watch my show, Elections Unlocked. Lots of ground reports from different parts of the country as well on that as we take you across India. That's at 10.30. But I want to leave you with our image of the day. And it's an image which will tell you why this country is like no other when it comes to elections. Aslam Shah fighting as a candidate of the Maha Lok Shai Vikas Agadi in Maharashtra's Buldana came to the to file his nomination carrying a 10,000 rupee carrying 10,000 rupees in one rupee coins 15,000 in notes to file his nomination he was picking up all those coins put them in a bag and then went and filed his nomination there is no country like India which is why I leave you on the show good night goodbye Jai Hind Namaskar Guys, I'm going to bomb